Hey gang, this is Mike with My Real Estate Dojo. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna explain to you why you need pain and suffering in your life. And I'm why I'm here trying to persuade you why you need pain and suffering in your life, ladies and gentlemen. So let's pull back the curtains and get started. I'm gonna give you three examples in my life and I'm gonna be very vulnerable and show you my failures, show you where I look stupid, and show you how I came back from it, and be able to tell you, to persuade you why you need pain and suffering, okay? Without pain and suffering, you can't have your greatness. And, and I don't care who you watch, how much flash they show you, how much bling bling shows you, but I'm here to tell you that bling bling, luxuries, easy connections don't get you where you want to go in life. I know a lot of rich people, okay? I know kids that I grew up with, their parents are just fucking rich as hell, okay? And when I look at them, they're fucking losers. They're losers. They haven't contributed to anything in life. They're out of shape. They don't like their life. They do a lot of different substance abuse. They don't bring anyone up, always tearing other people down. Even though their parents are multimillionaires, okay? them themselves haven't accomplished much in life and I'm not bringing them down in any fashion sh shape I love them and I always encourage them and they have greatness in them but I'm trying to tell you that if you have all the luxuries in the world if you have everything on easy world it's probably not you're not gonna find your greatness in that to get your greatness you need two major ingredients okay two major ingredients which is the soil and you need the soil to be very for the, uh, like full of nutrients in it, fortile, whatever they call it in America. And these two ingredients are pain and suffering. Again, pain and suffering. Without that, you can't tap into your soul's imagination. Without pain and suffering, you can't tap into that will power that's gonna just come out to you. Without pain and suffering, you can't find who you really fucking are, ladies and gentlemen. You need pain and suffering to tap into your greatness. And I'm gonna give you three examples of my own life where I basically am very vulnerable and I show you how I felt to try to persuade you that don't run away from your pain and suffering. Embrace it, give thanks to it, okay? Let's roll back when I was young um, and I, I wanted to be a bodybuilder, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and even when I've grown up, what? Let's just talk about working out, okay? Your muscles don't grow, don't get maximum amount of power, okay? Until they come to a point where there's so much pain and suffering, okay? And after, you gotta go through that pain and suffering, okay? Called failure, where, where, where the weight just falls on you, or you just drop, and that's why you need a spotter. That is the only time that your muscle fibers break Okay, they break, they fall apart, you know, they tear, okay? And there's significant amount of lactic acid in your pain. And your mind is screaming, your muscles are burning, there's so much blood in there, right? And you can't go anymore, and that's the only time your muscles get stronger. The same thing happens in life, okay? And now, if you look at the gym, if you go to the gym, Many people don't even go there. So they're not even willing to deal with the pain and suffering and the discipline that's required to have a better life, okay? To have a healthier life. Two, the people that go there, my, I'm gonna clap them because they're doing a lot of stuff, right? But if you notice out of those people, 90% of those people, as soon as the pain starts coming, they're gonna stop. Oh, it hurts, I'm, I'm gonna stop. A small percent of the people will, as soon as the pain All right, guys, we're talking about pain and suffering, and this is what I'm talking about. Technology is great. It connects us. I'm very thankful for it. But for a guy that freestyles, that causes me pain and suffering because I lose my place because I'm not scripted. But guess what? This pain and suffering, I have to deal with my mental mindset. I have to get positive because I'm in the flow. I'm delivering, and then boom, I stop, and my mind, I have to, you know, 
bring myself back. But guess what? That pain and suffering makes me a better speaker because I have to be fast on my feet. But going back to my, my explanation of the gym, you need pain and suffering to get stronger, okay? If it's your heart or if it's your biceps or if it's your quads, you need to go past the pain. You need to go past the failure and that's the only way to get stronger in the gym. Now, let's talk about my own personal life, guys. Um, when I graduated college, all my friends went out there and got a job making thirty to $40,000, and it was easy. I could have gotten a job myself. My brother that went to, to, to school uh, and dropped out of college, my dad gave him a job, and you know he was driving a nice ass brand new car, you know, convertible sports car, and he didn't have a high school at I mean, he didn't have a college degree. He was a college dropout. But he had the money. He had a nice car. My ass, I was living in my car at the same exact time. I had a college degree. But I decided to live in my car with 100 bucks instead of getting a job and, you know, going to movies and taking girls out like what he was doing. I decided to live in my fucking car and pursue my dream. And guess what? It was very fucking hard. There was a lot of suffering there. Because my little brother was making, driving a brand new car, brand new Nissan Z350 drop top, you know, I'm in, I'm in living in my shitty ass car that I had for such a long time, was so beat up, okay, I had no money, you know, uh, I, I showered at the fucking gyms, and this is like right out of college, you know, I didn't have to do that, right, I could just get a job, okay, and so what I did is I decided to go with the pain and the suffering, okay, and it was not fun, right, I had to cry myself to sleep, and but through that pain and suffering, all right, and through educating myself and not feeling sorry for myself, knowing, hey, I got to do something with myself, right, I was able to use my imagination, use my creativity, come up with an idea to generate leads online before there was a, such a thing called SEO, right, because Yahoo was king and not Google back in the days, and and then once Google got into it with, with the search engine spider there was a lot of easy ways to you know i would i want to say hack but it wasn't a hack it was like tricking the spider to allow you to rank number one which generated me tremendous amount of leads moving leads all over america so i could have started a moving company anywhere and when i started a moving company guess what people were already knocking on my door and the way i started my moving company i didn't just run out there and start a moving company I just start selling the leads, then had my customers funded, and so on. So instead of going to a bank and just signing up for you know a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand debt, like most people tell you, like advisors tell you, I said you know fuck that dude. I lived in my fucking car. I graduated college when I couldn't spell and write. I had a, I know how to do all this shit. I, I've suffered enough. I, I love suffering. I'm gonna suffer some more. And so what I did, I was give the leads up. You know, made very little amount of money. I learned about the business, and boom! When I decided to pick up the, the phone, I booked my first customer, and I used my customers' money to fund my business. Therefore, I had a business that was hundred pay, paid off, and I had seven trucks. It was a million dollar, making a million dollar a year plus, and I had it for seven years. I mean, not seven years, 14, 15 years. Okay. My real estate brokerage firm, I had it for seven years. Now, let me tell you another story. Let me talk about my brother, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Same guy, okay? So he went in for my dad. You know, he didn't have any money. He never invested any of his money. He didn't go to college. You know, things were handed down to him. Just kind of like my friends that told you that, you know, their parents are rich as fuck, but if you look at them, they're fucking... Not that they're not winners, dude. You would think they had all the advantages in the world, right? That they have money, they could start businesses, their parents are fucking this, their parents are that, they have connections, but you think they could do all these great things, motivate people, change people's life, you know, make an impact. Do you think they're doing any of that? Fuck no, dude. They're playing video games, man, right? So that's what they do, right? So because they have too much luxury, life is too easy for them. They didn't have to go through enough suffering. So the point of the story is that you should and love suffering and pain. Without suffering and pain, you can't find your greatness. It doesn't matter if you wanna be a real estate investor, you wanna be a writer, you wanna be a bodybuilder, you wanna be an entrepreneur, okay? Now, you know, 
it's not hard to go and get in debt, dude. Anybody can get debt. Anybody can have a new car. Anybody can have a boat. Anybody can have a house. Anybody can have a business. It's fucking easy. That's 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 the shit they sell you right now, right? You know, hey, go get in debt, dude. You know, go make a business plan and go borrow up your ass hundreds and thousands of dollars that you haven't worked for. You don't know what what it is to sacrifice. You don't know the pain. The same story with credit cards, right? You know what I mean? They, they just give it to you and then later on you're enslaved the rest of your life paying 25% interest. That's because that debt mentality is because people are not willing to pay the price, dude. That's why I started the movement, fuck you, pay the price, because you gotta deal with the pain and the suffering. The pain and the suffering is what's required for your soul. The thing that created a put into your heart to kick in. You don't have the pain, you don't have the suffering, you're always running away from it, you're always looking for an easy way out, you're always looking for a fucking shortcut. Guess what, dude? You're never gonna be fucking great. You're gonna be like my fucking brother. Let me give you an example. Once he worked for my for my daddy, then I try to help him out, just like I do all my family members. I help them start a brokerage firm. I give them seventy five thousand dollars cash, ladies and gentlemen. Seventy five thousand dollars cash. After seven years, I did everything for him. Guess what he did? Guy stole from me. So many different sad stories, ladies and gentlemen. This is why I came to the realization of fuck you pay me movement and fuck you pay the fucking price because I realized, I realized, like my friend that his daddy was rich, his mommy was rich, but he wasn't doing anything with his life. I realized like my brother that I handed to him and I handed to him, that I handed to him, he didn't do shit with his life. I realized like those guys that I picked up from coaching that were on the bus stop. Even though I put them in a hotel, even though I give them computers, even though I give them my Tracy, because they ended up not doing shit with their fucking lives, right? Even though like other people that I reached out and I helped out totally for free, they didn't do anything with their opportunities that I give them because they didn't understand what the opportunities were, right? Because every time there was pain for them in their life, they ran the fuck away. Every time there was suffering, they ran the fuck away. They blame other people instead of pointing the finger to them fucking selves, dude. And let me tell you about me, right? So. Guys, I started a business with fucking 100 bucks living in my car in college, dude, right? Instead of getting a job, I decided to start All right, guys, we're we're back. We're talking about pain and suffering, and I'm talking about my own pain and suffering and how I've dealt with it. I'm going to show you how I've been embarrassed in life, how I felt, so you can see that, hey, I embrace pain and suffering. So I had started out of college with 100 bucks, lived in my car, started three businesses. Guys, I had everything paid for. I had no credit card debts. My car, cars paid for. All my toys paid for. I have rental houses. They're making me shit a lot of money. I have equity in all these fucking houses. I try to help people out, just like people I've never met. I start teaching them, picking them up. My own sister, I bought her house. My own brother, I give him his own business. So I did all this stuff, right? And then my brother fucking fucks me and, and, and just straight fucks me like, you know, somebody puts a gun to my head and robs me type of shit. But the only difference is, is my brother instead of some fucking stranger because I wouldn't give a fuck if it was a stranger. I'll give him the fucking money, everything, because guess what? The money didn't make me. I made myself, right? But when, when my own family robs me, right? And or when I give all hard work, dude, I pay cash for the house and I give it to my sister to help her have her own shit. So she doesn't have to go to the hardship. She doesn't understand it. Or when my brother robs me, guys, that's like that's the only reason I do everything I did. That's the only reason I have three companies is to provide for my family, dude. I didn't have no kids. I wasn't fucking married. Who else am I doing this shit for? It's for my brother and my sister and my mom and dad. And 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 then when they betray me, guess what, dude? Man, it's, it breaks my heart, dude. It tears me up. It breaks me into fucking little pieces, dude. Everything I work for, everything I have, I don't even want to fuck with it anymore, dude. I am what's called a motivated seller. I don't give a fuck about shit, right? So I'm, I'm in significant pain and suffering, dude. Everything I work for, dude. I did it for my mom, did it for my dad, did it for my brother, did it for my sister. And they're just all disowning me because I'm revealing the fucking truth. I'm not trying to fucking hide shit up anymore. So I'm like, man, guess what? I, instead of just... You know, just like you, dude, whenever you're down, you want to sit there and you want to cry. And, dude, and, and I want to do that same exact shit. And I did the same exact shit one day, one week, three weeks, right? I'm just sitting there and I'm crying and, and, and I'm depressed. And, I mean, all hell, dude. Like, the whole foundation of my life has just fucking 
boom, down. And man, I don't even know. I don't even want to do my business anymore. I don't want to do real estate. I don't give a fuck about money. I don't give a fuck about shit. And I'm, all I'm doing is just feeling sorry for myself. I'm, and I'm not that same motherfucker. I've never stood around so far for myself. And I just realized, dude, dude, you know what? You're in pain and suffering. You gotta love this shit, dude. This is what's gonna help you get to your next fucking level. So what did I do, dude? I embraced pain and suffering so much that I just let go of everything I had, dude. I give this shit to the homeless people. To just, just give it up for tens and tens to so many people, different shit, right? And I went homeless. I decided to pick volunteer suffering, dude. I went. Did what the grace did, like Buddha did, like Jesus did. I start hanging out with people that didn't have anything, just talking to them, sleeping with them, not showering, only having fucking like minimal clothes. You guys see me on my Instagram or my Facebook, the two bags that I had, right? So instead of me feeling just sorry for myself and feeling this, and I'm, I'm you know, I was living life here, and then I, you know, and I start feeling like down here, and then I say, you know what, I'm here feeling down here. Why don't I even go further down? Why don't I go to the fucking rock bottom? Why don't I just give up my fucking businesses? Why don't I give up everything I fucking own? Not have fucking shit. Just me, my bag, my dog, my car. And that's fucking it. Everything I fucking work for, I just give it up, dude. You know why? Because I didn't need that shit, first of all. Two, I needed more pain and suffering. My greatness was in my pain and suffering, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what I'm trying to tell you is that... We can't be great unless we deal with our pain and suffering. We embrace that shit, dude. We say, thank you, God, for that pain and suffering. We take it, and we even go deeper in pain and suffering, dude. We go so fucking deep that we find a why to come the fuck up, dude. And when we fuck come the fuck up, we're going to come up with a fucking vengeance, dude. And that's what I'm trying to tell you is that if you're always running away from the pain and suffering, and you're always blaming other people, Right? I mean, I can sit here and blame my brother. I can sit here and blame... Nah, dude. It was my fucking fault that I believed in him. It was my own fault that I entrusted in him. It was my own fault that everybody like you that's reached out to me says, Look, I'm reaching your brother and you have a house for sale, but he's not responding. You know, I decided not to believe you and believe him. Over, over and over, year after year, year after... It wasn't... His fault, you know, you guys try to tell me it was my own fucking fault. But instead of me sitting here and fucking blaming everybody, I say, you know what, it's my own fucking fault. I'm in pain and suffering. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go fucking deeper because I remember when I was in fucking college and I didn't have no fucking money and I suffered. What did I get for all that suffering when everybody was laughing at me? My friends were laughing at me because I wouldn't go out with them. My brother had a fucking nice car. I would live in my fucking car, showering at the gym. What did I get for that? I got a million dollar fucking business. I got rental properties out of that shit. You know? What did I get when I had everything? Nothing, dude. You know, when I had everything, I thought I was the shit. You know, I wasn't that compassionate. You know, I wasn't that hungry. But guess what? More pain and suffering came to, to me. I embraced as a thank you god i'm gonna go fucking homeless all this material shit that i built my fucking dream bike my fucking dream car my my cars my rentals i don't need this shit dude i made myself and i could do it again and i could do it again and i could do it again because what god put into me just like he put into you it's gonna require pain and suffering, man. You can't get that shit with debt, dude. You can't go borrow success, dude. You can't go lease success. Like society teaches you in America that like you can just go borrow some money from a credit card company and you could have a dream or you could get, you know, borrow some money from Wells Fargo to buy a house, man. Or you don't have money or you don't have imagination. Don't worry, there's, there's a hard money lender that'll give you the fucking money at 18% interest. Fuck that, dude. Use your imagination. You're better than that, dude. You have greatness in you, dude. You don't need no fucking money. You don't need no fucking bankers. You don't need no fucking sad story, dude. Accept the sad story. Say, thank you, God, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you for allowing me to be alive. Thank you for allowing me to be in a fucking America. Thank you for my arms and legs. If I don't even have my arms and legs, then thank you for my fucking brain. And go out there and do your shit, dude. Fuck all the other bullshit and fuck all the excuses that your mind tells you to make you feel sorry for yourself. That's why I started to fuck you pay the price movement and fuck you pay me, dude. Because I've realized that the more I try to help out people, they're not pulling the, willing to put the fucking work in. I'm robbing them of their greatness. They have to deal with the pain and suffering. They have to embrace the pain and suffering like a bodybuilder. Like when I go fucking do 
go to the gym and I do fucking squats. People that see me, I go deep as fuck. I don't have a spotter, dude. I put as much weight as I can with great form and I go deep as fuck and I come out. I don't have, and when my legs start shaking like this, dude, guess what, dude? I still go deep as fuck because I rather fall or get strong. I don't have no spot. I don't have anybody. And you can ask anybody at the fucking gym. Out of all the times I worked at a fucking gym, there's like four or five times I asked for a spotter. And that was it, dude. Besides that, I just do it, dude. And I'm willing to risk it. Because if you're not willing to risk it, you can't be anything, dude. Okay? You want a safety net. You want a job. You you, you don't want to run from the pain. You, 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 you don't want to have any discomfort. Guess what, dude? You're going to have credit card debt. You're gonna have shed load of fucking dead. You're gonna have a fucking job you fucking hate, right? And you'll have material shit like a stupid ass car to make you feel good. Or you're gonna have to believe some guy that has a fucking Favari or has a fucking Benz or has a fucking, and he's trying to sell you on that shit. Or some guy that dresses really cool and is really slick and he talks really smooth and tells you how much you don't know about X and how much you don't know about Y and why you should follow him. Fuck that, dude. Everything you need is already inside you, dude. The creative put that shit inside you. If a motherfucker like me can come to America, don't speak English, don't know shit, my parents are illiterate, dude, and I could be driving a fucking Benz, paid off. I'm not telling you to just brag about this shit. I'm just telling you, I, don't, I can't even spell them right, dude. If I, fuck the Benz. My best accomplishment was to write a fucking book, put it on my Amazon, and sell most, more than most motherfuckers that reach out to me that have wrote in books that have PhDs that don't know what to fucking do, and they're trying to be a real estate investor. That's my fucking accomplishment. My biggest accomplishment is be able to take my fucking mindset and be knocked the fuck out and come back and win. That's my biggest accomplishment. These material things, man, these are bullshit, dude. Anybody that sells you on a big house, anybody that sells you on a fucking big car or on a fucking boat, they're fucking empty, dude. They don't know whether to win. And let me tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, all the people out there that some of you guys follow, some of them made it because their daddy made it and they're out on fucking YouTube or some of them I've made it. Guess what? I bet you a million bucks. I bet you my fucking life. They're not willing to let go of everything they fucking had and redo it. I guarantee you, you shout out to your best guru out there and say, look, buddy, you make, you build a million dollar business, go on, let it all go and start over. See if he's willing to fucking do that. I challenge any fucking guru out there. I am willing to take a hundred bucks. You take a hundred bucks. We can go to any fucking country. We don't speak the fucking language. And we see how badass motherfucker you are. Let's do it, dude. You told your best guru. Alright? Who the fuck you think is the badass motherfucker you, you follow? Tell him. Let's take a hundred bucks. I'll take my hundred bucks. We'll go to China. We don't speak the language. And we'll give it 60 days and see who makes more fucking money, dude. I've done it multiple times. I came to America the same way. I never borrow any fucking money. I'm doing it right now, dude. I let go of everything I fucking had, right? And I'm and I'm showing you how to do it because so many people reach out to me and says, hey, Mike, it's so hard to do it. I don't know what to do. And you know what? That's why I decided to just let go of everything and just do it with you guys, dude. Show you how to do it with no fucking money, dude. Show you how to do it with very little money. Show you how to do it with imagination. Try to show you how to do it with fucking heart. Try to show you how to do it with no fucking bank loan, dude. No credit card loan. Show you how to do it with other people's money, dude, so you don't have to put your money up. Try to show you how to do it with free money, house money, guys. And if I can do it, shit, if my poor dad can do it, why the fuck can't you do it, dude? You live in America. The grass is so green. Don't listen to the TV. Don't listen to fucking books. Don't listen to any motherfucking naysay that tells you you can't do some shit. I believe in you. You have greatness in you. Just reach deep inside you. And accept the pain and the suffering. That's all you fucking need is pain and suffering to help you get what you're going. I'm out, gang.